You know, previously uh, people have asked how to get to the fuses. Um, if you take off this wonderful bolt here, you know, here's the clutch, here's the bolt right smack dab in the center of this view. Um, you got to pull one out here, and then there's one over on the other side of the bike. We'll go around here. And here it is, and in just a moment I'm going to pull that off. Okay, so now I got the bolt out of this side, and if we come over to the other side, the uh, bolt's out of this side as well. Um, be careful with these little pieces, they're almost like little metal insets. You can drop these, you can lose them, and uh, you don't want to. So I'm just going to pull that off. Now in order to pull this off, basically you're fighting industrial strength Velcro. You're going to feel like you're going to break something. Pull up, you know, with moderate force on that side. Come over to the other side, pull up on that with moderate force. And then slide the entire thing towards the front. So, you can see my hand here, and I'm going to push it towards the front of the tank. Um, now this should all come apart. You just kind of wiggle it a little bit until it does, and voila. Now, people kept asking, where are your, where is your fuse box? You know, is it under the tank? Well, yes and no. It's over here. I could have sworn it. Where is it? I saw it before. What the heck is wrong with me? Oh, here we go. So, right here is our fuse box. It's under the driver's side of the bike, underneath that nice plastic piece we just took off. There's a 10 amp signal fuse, 15 amp for the headlight, 10 amp for the ignition, 10 for the brake and horn, 15 amp for the fan, 10 amps for the meter and instrumentation, 15 amps for the fuel injection, 10 amp spare and a 15 amp spare in here. And I'm just tempted to look at this because I've never looked in it before. And voila, ah, I hate these. There are those little micro fuses. And it looks like somebody's too fucking lazy to put these things in uh, right side up so they all match. You know, pet peeve of mine, but hey. Eh, the heck with it. So that's how you remove that. Putting that back on, that, that's a complete pain in the rear. Um, it's doable, but it's a pain in the rear. And just zoom in on this. You know, maybe this will help somebody at some point. But there we go. Now getting that on. <laughs> that's a lot of fun. When you go to put this on, this thing has these points. Oh, it would help if I put it where my hand was. There, let's make sure this view works good. You have these points right here. This is a hole right here. Of course, it's hard to see because my lighting sucks. But there's a hole right here. Um, when you're putting it in, the plastic has to go this way towards, towards your tank so that you get it just right. And let me show you in the light on the inside of this wonderful uh, bezel cover. On the back, you will see the wonderful points. There's one right up here, and there's one over here, right here. Here's our little bezel pieces where the bolts go through. It's a complete pain in the rear to get running. 